But can you imagine four artists from East Clare <laughs> to <Sarah Vaughan, laughs> 37 over Fitzwilliam Street? And uh, our first um, accident uh, happened when, in fact, um, our beautiful Katrina, uh, who had measured the door, no doubt, going in downstairs for her ball gown to come into the uh, house. But then discovered when she brought it upstairs that it couldn't come in through the gallery door. And then we thought, what the hell are we going to do? So, uh, as a matter of fact, Mark is here, the photographer, we rang him. And uh, he said, I'll be there in 10 minutes because we were about to hoist the ball gown here um, uh, up from the street and go in. Ger had discovered that the window here uh, was uh, better and he could go in there. And um, so this amazing thing happened, but Ger was so quick, actually, getting it in, I had to ring Mark and say, actually, it's done. However, you can see some not very good photographs of this whole uh, performance on our Facebook. And uh, anyway, we've had fun, and um, it's taken this woman about two days to install this. So you might think the price is very expensive when you look on the little label there on the window thing there or on the price list, but uh, would you think she's going to give you two days of her life as well, actually, um, to install it? Uh, I think it would be a very good thing. I'm not too sure who is the um, potential buyer, but I'm sure there's one out there. Um, and anyway, of course, the girls, of course, knew the wonderful Duncan Stewart, who I have a great admiration for, and we all have, and um, he's going to, there he is, um, and he's going to say a few words to uh, crack open or open the exhibition. Um, so here you are, Duncan. I think, and, and you probably know the girls, of course. Nicola, uh, who is the wonderful textile artist. She used to be a painter, but I knew her, but now she's gone to fabric. And then, of course, there's James Seymour, who does this incredible uh, ceramics. And then we have Vivian, the paintings. Yeah. And then we have the great, and um, we have Kush, Catherine Kashiri. And by the way, that wonderful sculpture down there, uh, I shouldn't be telling you, but um, is he here tonight? He is. He is. Oh, yes. Well, where is he? But in yeah. fact, it's his body, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So, in fact, um, uh, I'd love to have a lover like that. And <laughs> but anyway, Duncan, I think you better do the master of ceremonies up there. Get up there. Thank you, Noelle, and to all four wonderful Cree ladies here, Cree being the heart, and that's what really brings all four women here together, artists together, is Cree. And it's this bonding of four women in East Clare. And if you like, the synergy and the, the motivation and the inspiration and the bonding together and the support and the, the love that all four women share is really probably why this exhibition is here today and why all of this wonderful work has been created. And I'll go into that in a minute, but first of all, all of you in the background, can you hear and can you see? Yes. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, okay. everything all right? Yeah. Come, come and thank in. you all for coming and I hope you enjoy it and I know there's a, a great mix of people here from different backgrounds, you know. So uh, we've got a great audience uh, and a uh, wonderful bunch of people here. I, I'm actually exploring lots of people that I haven't seen for years and learning, meeting new friends here, so it's a very, very nice time. I think I need to start by saying, I don't know why I've been asked to, 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 be, to, to make any talk here, because to be honest, I, I, I'm an architect, but I'm not doing much architecture now because I'm involved in my TV work. But I suppose I'm miles away from where all of the creative world is in art, in Dublin and in Ireland is. I'm, I'd say this nearly everybody else in this audience is much more qualified to talk here than me. I'm kind of obsessed with the big issues of environment and where we are with climate change and the big issues that are coming down the track. So my world is kind of moved into a, an area. But when I look at 
all of what all the four here have done here, you know, in their work, you know. Uh, we've got Nicola, we've got Jane, we've got Katrina, and we've got Vivian. And all four basically came to East Clare for different reasons. You know, all are basically blow-ins to East Clare. <laughs> Three came from abroad, one from Wales, one from England, uh, one from Malta, and one from Limerick City. But they settled in Clare for different reasons and grew to love the wildness of Clare and the nature and the tranquility and the, the unspoiled beauty and the, the natural heritage and the cultural heritage of the region of East Clare where they live, which is Mount Shannon, it's Shilakti Mountains, it's Scarif, you know, but also reaching to the Burren and the, with the wildness of, of the West. And really, all of their artwork symbolizes and evokes very strong feelings of, uh, it's not just love for nature, but it's, it's a kind of a, a feeling of wanting to, to inspire other people to realize how important our natural environment is, and our built and cultural environment historically. When we look at so many symbols here of, if you like, art from primitive early settlements and from prehistoric times here in the paintings expressed. But mostly it's the nature and the wildness and the, the seabirds and the flying of birds and this great sense of feeling of, of wilderness and wildness and freedom. All of these things express themselves to these paintings. So there's, there's a strong connection and there's a great synergy between them. But they're all very different, all very different genre, you know. I think if you look at, for example, uh, Katrina, it's all about glass, really, I would say, yeah? <laughs> Expressing her art through glass, like that beautiful dress here, like the lovely glass working behind on the bowl here behind, you know? And then Nicola, it's all about, I suppose, uh, how would you describe it, Nicola? These beautiful um, paintings with lovely kind of feelings of texture and graphics, uh, and, and texture in the seabirds, like wow. oyster catchers behind us, we've got curlews, we've got Gulls, <laughs> different seabirds, and that wildness of nature and flying, you know. And with Jane, it's all about these beautiful potteries and forms. And I know Jane's work going back 20 years ago, Jane, would it be, or 50 years ago, maybe, in Maybe East Fico yes. and in East Clare. Yep. And, and this wonderful kind of beautiful forms that she Special. creates. Absolutely. And then even those lovely pieces in the corner up here at the end, these two medallion type figures, the circular, with the, the two nude women, which very quite erotic actually and very beautiful up there. And then Vivian with her beautiful paintings and her the way she's captured nature and at the same time captured so much of Ireland's heritage that has been lost that we're losing very rapidly. And you can see she's clearly trying to wake us up to the destruction that's taking place to so much of our cultural heritage that's disappearing very rapidly. In a very, very, it's like a, we're being robbed and exploited by developers and by greedy people trying to, if you like, take away and replace things that are so important to us and that we've inherited, you know, as part of our legacy and things that we need to pass on to future generations and that Vivian sees that we're losing. So I think there's different, if you like, reasons to be together painting but it's the bonding of the four together over the years. I think four women that have their, had their trials and tribulations too, having rare families in the west of Ireland and, you know, uh, probably the loneliness of the west of Ireland too, you know, presumably that's an issue, but often loneliness can create great motivation for creativity and for art. But by coming together, like the four musketeers, they, they bonded <laughs> together and they have supported each other and you know, I think this is all coming out of the art because you can see it's motivated them, it's inspired them all in, the, in their individual work. And I think here is a lovely place for exhibiting you know, Fantastic. Congratulations. And I think the, the whole feeling of the exhibition is just beautiful because you've got this mixture, but there's a great harmony across everything. Everything really fits. And look at the way these just fit together, you know, with this. You all have a natural, you kind of feel they should all be kept together. And I often feel, you know, in a, an exhibition like this, an artist has done their